the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 133, Job 11 to 14, Pleading to God. Hearing the word of Jopha, who condemned Job, saying that even his sign was unrighteous, Job criticized his friend's arrogance and asked for God's wisdom. First point, Jopha rebuked Job for complaining. Regarding Job's suffering, Jopha criticized that Job had too much to say. Jopha furthermore claimed that Job was an arrogant person who enjoyed boasting and someone who liked to look down on others. He stated that Job was a self-righteous man. We can see that Job and his friends were having the worst conversation. What Job wanted from his friends was comfort and their company. But his friends rather criticized and rebuked him. Second point. Job has said that Job's complaining came from a place of arrogance and that God would soon show his will. Job went on to say that Job's suffering was less compared to the sin he had committed and advised him to repent to God. He stressed that Job was going through such suffering because of his sin against God. In Job's eyes, Job was a sinner. He had no evidence for his words, but he carried on with his theory nonetheless. He twisted Job's words that he had spoken in pain and turned them into complaints against God. Job added that Job should repent and that only then he would be blessed. Job was indeed an early Sadducee. Yet, if you devote your heart to him and stretch out your hands to him, if you put away the sin that is in your hand and allow no evil to dwell in your tent. He was convinced that he had told Job the correct answer. However, Job's interpretation could not be further away from the truth. Third point. Job started to argue about the limitations of his friend's wisdom. Job's friends said countless words, which they thought were wise and correct. But Job criticized their words. He claimed that their words were built on causality, and that they had no evidence or depths in their advice. Job moreover claimed that God's work cannot be explained through causality or human interpretations. Job knew that God punished the wicked and blessed the meek. But when he faced his situation, his thoughts became blood. Job came to accept that God was the only one who gives blessings and misfortunes. Job moreover came to terms that humans cannot decide or govern who God blesses or gives misfortunes to. He argues against the black and white theories of his friends. You, however, smear me with lies. You are worthless physicians, all of you. If only you would be altogether silent. For you, that would be wisdom. And instead, he begs his friends to be sympathetic. Hear now my argument. Listen to the pleas of my lips. Will you speak wickedly on God's behalf? Will you speak deceitfully for him? Will you show him partiality? Will you argue the case for God? Both point. Job no longer confronted or argued with his friends. Now Job stood before God and started to speak out. Job wanted to stand in front of the righteous God. Job started to plead to God, only grant me these two things, God, and then I will not hide from you. Withdraw your hand far from me. 
and stop frightening me with your terrors. Job also prayed to God to ask him why he was suffering. Then summon me, and I will answer. Well, let me speak, and you reply to me. How many wrongs and sins have I committed? Fifth point. Instead of learning away, Job stood before God. Job said to God that he had not sinned but was being punished. But rather than learning away, he wanted God to unravel the answers for him. Job also sincerely asked God to end his suffering. We can see just how bad his suffering was, and we can also see how despite his pain, he still had hope in God. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.